blondies are cool and all, but I'd much rather have it as a truffle instead. Oh, and what if we stuff some cream cheese on the inside and dunk it with some white chocolate? Well, combine all of that together and you have the recipe for today's eggnog blondie truffles. Stick around and I'll show you exactly how to make this delectable treat for yourself. My name is Tiffany and welcome back to my channel. And yes, I am well aware that it's pretty dark in here today, but I did add in some additional lighting to help make up for the loss of lighting in here. But if it's still too dark for you guys, well, you just have to understand that I'm trying to do my best here. So please bear with me here. So recently, one of our LED pot lights blew out on us, and because they're very hard to find and very expensive to replace, you're just gonna have to grin and bear with the darkness for a little while, okay? There's just nothing more that can be done here, yeah? I mean, I literally did not ask for the pot light to blow out on me, yeah? I did not want it to be this dark, so you're just gonna have to work with me here, okay? And try to be a little more patient and understanding with me, yeah? You get me? So anyways, today we are going to be making some eggnog blondie cheesecake truffles, which is essentially a remix of the eggnog cheesecake snickerdoodles that I had made the other day. Only instead of making it with a snickerdoodle base, today's truffles are made using a blondie base. So if this sounds like another recipe that you would like to try out this holiday season, or once again, you're super crazy about eggnog, just like I am. <laughs> <laughs> then please give this video a like and if you are new here and you are enjoying the content that you are seeing here so far then please click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to be notified whenever I make a new baking tutorial or short. I make new baking content every week and my baking content is suitable for beginners and experienced bakers alike. So if that sounds like you and you don't mind a little bit of self-deprecating humor sprinkled here and there from time to time, then why don't you stick around for a little bit and make yourselves comfortable. And who knows, you might actually be surprised on what you might learn from me too. So to sum things up really quickly, these are essentially an eggnog blondie that's wrapped around a cream cheese filling and then dunked in some white chocolate and topped with a little bit of nutmeg sugar for a treat that is sure to blow your socks off once you take a bite out of these. Simple yet bold in terms of flavor. These are like cake truffles, but even better because it's made with blondies. And unlike with most cake and blondie truffles, these are filled with frosting. So enough chit chat and let me go get started on them, shall we? To get started on these eggnog truffles, we are going to be starting off with a cream cheese filling. Yes! This has to be done before the blondies, so please be patient here. To a medium-sized bowl, add in 6 ounces or 170 grams of full-fat cream cheese and cream it on medium speed for 2-3 to three minutes or until it's nice and smooth. Then sift in 3.5 cups or 438 grams of icing sugar and gradually add it to the cream cheese. Continue to mix the cream cheese for another 3-5 to five minutes or until light and fluffy. Once creamed, add in one and a half tablespoons or 12 grams of all-purpose flour, three quarter teaspoons of vanilla extract, and one quarter teaspoon of salt, and mix everything together until fully combined. Using a small teaspoon or a mini cookie scoop, plop your cream cheese onto a wax paper lined container and cover the filling tightly with some plastic wrap. Chill it in the freezer for at least three hours or until it's firm enough to work with. To start the blondies off, we are going to brown some butter. Yes, I know I'm obsessed and you should be too. This is like liquid gold and it goes especially great with eggnog. Anyways, you're going to melt one cup or 227 grams of unsalted butter in a medium-sized saucepan over medium heat and continue to stir and cook the butter until the melt solids has a beautiful golden brown color and a nutty aroma. Pour the butter into a heat safe container and cover and chill it in the fridge until the butter has solidified, but make sure to bring it back up to room temperature again before creaming it. 
Next, we are going to be separating two eggs and placing the egg whites into a medium sized bowl and the egg yolks in a smaller bowl. Make sure to do this step very carefully as you really don't want any egg yolks in your whites or else they won't whip. Sprinkle a pinch of cream of tartar into the bowl of egg whites and mix it on low speed using a hand or stand mixer. And once the egg whites begin to froth up and start to leave trails in the bowl, increase the speed to medium high and gradually add in 1 third cup or 70 grams of granulated sugar in 3 installments as you are whipping the egg whites. Once all of the sugar has been added in, increase the mixer to high speed and continue to whip the egg whites until you get stiff peaks. So, another minute or two with this. You'll know when it's done when the whisk has an egg white standing up straight and the egg whites don't drop on your head when you hold it upside down, just like in my profile picture. Set the egg whites aside for now and, to a large bowl, add in the chilled brown butter that's been brought back to room temperature along with 3 quarter cups or about 188 grams of light or dark brown sugar that's been packed, 1 third cup or 70 grams of granulated sugar, 3 quarter teaspoons of nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, and cream together on medium speed for 35 minutes or until light and fluffy. Then add in the egg yolks and give it a quick mix before adding in 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of rum extract, half a cup or 120 milliliters of eggnog, and make sure to shake it before using a quarter cup or 60 milliliters of dark rum, and you can also skip this if you prefer not to use alcohol here, but just increase the amount of rum extract to make up for it, and half a teaspoon of salt, and mix together on medium speed until fully incorporated. Lower the mixer to medium low speed and sift in 1.5 cups or 188 grams of all-purpose flour and add it in 3 installments, making sure that the flour is just incorporated before adding in more flour. Once everything has fully combined, add in the egg whites in 3 installments and gently fold it into the batter, being extra careful not to deflate your egg whites here. Remember the disaster that was the pumpkin macarons? Yeah, you definitely don't want to mess up here, as this is what's going to help the blondie rise, so we need all the air that we can get here. And remember the nutmeg sugar that we had made for the eggnog snickerdoodles? I had some left back. But, just in case you need more, add in 2 tablespoons or 25 grams of granulated sugar and half a teaspoon each of cinnamon and nutmeg to a small bowl and just toss them together. This will make enough to dust your pan with, so if you need extra to sprinkle on top of the blondies, simply triple this nutmeg sugar recipe. Speaking of the pans, grease a 9 inch square pan and line it with some parchment paper. Dust the bottom and the sides of the pan with some of that nutmeg sugar until the pan has been fully coated. Carefully pour the batter into the prepared pan and gently smooth out the top. Give a generous coating of some additional nutmeg sugar on top and, using your finger, draw an outline on the outside of the blondie. Since these are souffle based, this will help the blondies rise up properly as it bakes. Bake the blondies in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven or 177 degrees Celsius for 35 to 40 minutes or until the center of the blondie has set. Do not open the oven door to check on it unless you are taking it out as the cool breeze will interfere with the baking and it will deflate your blondie. While these blondies are baking, let's shape these cream cheese blobs. Just like last time, we are rolling these up one at a time and making them into perfect rounds. And because the truffles are much smaller than the cookie, we are also going to be making these smaller as well. So divide each round into four and give them a quick shaping before covering and placing them back in the freezer until it's time to shape the truffles. Okay, so the blondies have finished baking and just look at how gorgeous these blondies are. I mean, these can be a dessert all on its own and it's super creamy and full of spice goodness throughout. I mean, just look at how thick and fluffy these look. I'm pretty sure my keyboard is covered in drool at this point just by looking at it. But today, 
These blondies serve a different purpose, and so we have to let these babies cool down for at least half an hour before cutting them into squares and then breaking them into chunks. Take about a third or half of a blondie square and flatten it using your hands. Take a chilled cream cheese ball and place it in the center of the flattened blondie. Then carefully wrap the blondie around the cream cheese ball and shape it into a ball. Place the truffle onto a large plate or a baking tray and continue this process until all the blondie has been completely used up. I find this process to go by much more smoothly whenever you are working with a frozen cream cheese ball as even with refrigerated cream cheese, it still blends into the blondie and so the cream cheese has to be absolutely cooled before you make your truffles. Once all of your truffles have been formed, place them in the fridge to chill for about an hour before coating them in some chocolate. And as for these extra cream cheese balls they have here, I'm not quite sure on what to do with them. So if you guys have any ideas or suggestions that I could possibly do with these, like fun recipes I can try with them, please let me know your ideas or suggestions in the comments section down below and tell me what you think. And I'm just going to quickly make some more nutmeg sugar to sprinkle on top of these truffles. So in a small container, add in half a cup or 100 grams of granulated sugar and one tablespoon of nutmeg and just toss to combine. For the chocolate coating, you're going to need 28 ounces or 792 grams of white chocolate and you're going to finely chop them so that it can melt and temper more easily. Of course, you can skip the tempering process and just use the same amount of white chocolate coating here, but I find that the truffles taste so much better when you are using tempered chocolate, so definitely try out tempering if you can. Set aside about a quarter of your chocolate to be used for seeding and melt the rest in a large bowl over a double boiler. Continue to melt the chocolate until you reach a temperature of 45 degrees Celsius or 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Wipe the bowl of any condensation on the bottom and add in some of your leftover chopped chocolate for seeding and mix it in the melted chocolate until it has fully melted. Continue the seeding process of adding in the chopped chocolate and stirring together until the chocolate has reached a temperature of 29 degrees Celsius or 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove any unmelted pieces of chocolate before coating your truffles in the chocolate. Shake off any excess chocolate from the truffles and carefully place them onto a large baking tray. Sprinkle some nutmeg sugar and continue this process until all of your chocolate has been used up. You will have some leftover truffles that are left plain, but that's okay, they are still delicious naked. Yeah, I was really hoping that I could have gotten away with using half of the chocolate here, but because I ended up with over half of my truffles being plain, that is why the chocolate amounts that you see on here are doubled compared to what I had worked with. Once you've finished coating your truffles in the chocolate, chill it in the fridge for 10 minutes to allow the chocolate to firm up, and your eggnog blondie cheesecake truffles are finally complete. And these look absolutely stunning! And check out the inside of these truffles, you guys! There's plenty of cream cheese goodness to go around, so you will not be disappointed with these. I really hope that you guys try these out for your next holiday party or even give them away as gifts. These make for a really tasty present, and who wouldn't want something homemade? I hope that you enjoy them as much as I do! And there you have it! Eggnog Blondie Cheesecake Truffles. Simple yet bold in terms of flavor and appearance, this is another treat that is sure to impress your guests this holiday season. And as an added bonus, these truffles are also perfect for gifting as well. Let's try one for ourselves, shall we? Definitely taste the cream cheese and how it makes everything extra creamy. And the blondie, oh my god, the blondie, like the eggnog, the spices, just everything just shines through in this truffle. I'm telling you, you guys, this is a huge improvement from cake truffles and just blondie truffles in general. You have to try these out. You have to try these truffles, trust me. It's very addictive.
So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's recipe and you liked what you see here and you are excited to try out these truffles out for yourselves, then please give this video a like and leave a comment in the comment section down below and tell me what you think of them, especially if you're going to give these truffles a try. Share this video so that others can also try their hand at making their very own eggnog blondie cheesecake truffles for themselves. And if you're not already following me, but you enjoy the baking content that I do on here, then please hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to be notified whenever I make a new baking tutorial or short. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Both usernames are Tips Patisserie and the full written recipe to today's eggnog blondie cheesecake truffles will be on my website tispatisserie.wordpress.com The link to that is in the description box down below. And until next time you guys, stay safe out there, peace out, and I'll see you guys in my next video. does hit the spot. Take care you guys. Bye!